Level 3, Maintenance Station. Surreality, 3. Nostalgia Factor, 3. Population, 0. Chaos Integrity, 9. Level Hazards, Unsecure, Unstable Properties, Varying Geometry, Environmental Hazards, Lifeform Dangers. Level 3 is the third level of the backrooms. Description Level 3 appears to be a complex system of dark rooms and hallways, usually with machinery located inside of them. These hallways are usually hard to travel through, as often they appear to be very claustrophobic and hard to travel through, often requiring travelers to crawl, hunch, or to walk sideways through these hallways. The walls are usually made out of dusty, sometimes damaged, reddish-brown bricks. These bricks can sometimes also be white, but this is rare. Wires and pipes made out of copper and sometimes other materials pass through these walls. Sometimes, these wires are damaged and are dangling from the ceiling and walls, as these wires constantly have a high voltage running through them. Touching them may result in death from electrocution. The floors are made out of even dustier gray concrete tiles, although sometimes the floor of level 3 could vary. For example, sometimes, the floor could even be made out of the same bricks as the walls, whilst there are no wires or pipes running through the floor. There's a chance that the floor might have a hole and giant cracks that might collapse. These holes may reveal all the rooms, which usually are full of machinery. These rooms seemingly serve no purpose, but that could be an inconvenience if a traveler were to accidentally fall down. In rare cases, it, in rare cases, these holes seemingly have no end in sight because of darkness. The ceiling is always made completely out of metal. Pipes also travel through the ceiling. Most of the time, these pipes carry carbon dioxide, just like the floor. The ceiling might have cracks in it. Sometimes, the pipes can also leak carbon dioxide through the cracks. However, usually, they don't leak enough carbon dioxide to be dangerous to humans, if the traveler is not exposed to it for a long amount of time. While level 3's exact size is unknown, it is definitely one of the larger levels in the back rooms. This level is estimated to be between 400 and 650 million square kilometers, because this level is so large, it is difficult finding an exit, so it is advised that travelers take many supplies with them for long journeys, especially with all the threats in level 3. Level 3's layout is very confusing. The layout seems to always be varying. Rooms and hallways that are not passed through often may disappear after some time. Some rooms seem to never change though. These rooms are usually full of machinery, but also random rooms and rooms that are below the floor. Hallways sometimes also have iron bars making passage through these hallways basically impossible, if there isn't an unlocked iron gate. These bars are seemingly impossible to break, as all attempts have failed. Iron bars usually pos always possess a keyhole, despite that, no keys have ever appeared in level 3. Sometimes, the walls are also lined with pipes carrying carbon dioxide, similar to level 2. However, unlike level 2, these pipes are a lot more scarce. These pipes carry a lot more carbon dioxide than the ones in the ceiling, if one of those pipes were to leak, that could cause major damages to the mind of travelers and may even result in death. But these pipes also transport a black, vicious sludge. This sludge is highly toxic and emits dangerous fumes that damage the nervous system if inhaled. It can also burn the skin, resulting in second or third degree burns. Level 3 is home to many abandoned outposts, which weirdly haven't built by travelers. These outposts are full of useful resources so I just recommend it to find one of these outposts as soon as possible. The only problem is that these outposts are relatively rare to find, as level 3 is very big, and outposts are scarce. These resources usually consist of food, water, lighters, flashlights, which usually don't have any batteries, and knives. Level 3 is the main source of electricity in, quant in the quantum stable levels. This level completes the backroom's energy cycle with level 6. It is theorized that level 3 powers a lot of the backroom's levels, but this theory is still unconfirmed. This level is lit through fluorescent lights on the ceiling, which are powered by nearby machines, but most of the level remains very dark, as lots of the lights don't turn on due to wires being misplaced. It is impossible to turn these lights off other than breaking the lights, as the machines powering the lights are in isolated rooms, which are impossible to enter. Most machines that are not in isolated rooms are also impossible to turn off, other than, of course, breaking the machine. Sometimes, puddles of water also appear on the floor. This is due to the ceiling sometimes leaking water. It is unknown where this water comes from. It is highly advised to stay away from any puddles as they're very dangerous due to the high amounts of electricity. The power grid is organized much like a typical power grid, with power lines 
originating from substations that receive their power from electrical stations. Unlike a typical power grid, the electrical stations do not receive their power from a power plants, but rather receive it from super stations, which are believed to receive it from mega stations, and so on. Although this is only speculated. The power grid is fractally organized, and the fractal is believed to continue infinitely outwards, with indefinite layers of larger and larger power stations, each powered by the next, like an infinite Ponzi scheme. By taking out a large enough station, Thousands of square kilometers of level 3 can be deprived of power. Level 3 rarely also has offices that work similarly to offices found in level 0. The, the walls of these offices usually don't consist of bricks like the rest of the level does. The walls usually consist of white and yellow concrete with the floor being tiled. Staircases that are used to get out to other floors in level 3 are often very close to an office, but this is not guaranteed. While level 3 already has many dangerous elements, such as the floor collapsing and high amounts of carbon dioxide, the main threat of this level are the entities, the most common life forms being smilers, hounds, and skin stealers. But level 3 also sometimes has death grammites, facelings, and rarely even clumps. Details Hallucinations are very common in level 3 due to the high amounts of carbon dioxide in the air. The most common hallucinations are loud rumbling from machinery, the sound of the fluorescent lights becoming near deafening knocks from the walls, and sounds of the floor collapsing. The machinery in level 3 is quite possibly the most dangerous aspect of its ambient environment. The machines found throughout the level operate autonomously without the need for external intervention. Travelers may benefit from seemingly infinite supply of electricity powering them. However, the anatomy of these machines also make them hazardously volatile. Machines often break down and require regular maintenance, which is dangerous since their power supply cannot be turned off by any means. Furthermore, machines have been known to spontaneously combust or explode on several occasions, causing grievous injury to the unfortunate enough to be in the vicinity. Despite this, the danger in the machinery can be easily avoided if one does not act rashly while traversing the level, and instead scouts out a safe route. The abundant machinery within the level causes temperatures within level 3 to be uncomfortably warm, but generally bearable, with the average temperature ranging widely from 18 degrees to 32 degrees Celsius. Long distance travel across level 3 has made difficult by regions in which the temperature may rise to become entirely inhospitable, with the highest temperature ever recorded being 57 degrees Celsius. Reports also exist of regions with damp, thick air, which makes the air in these areas difficult to breathe. Accessibility Methods Entrances No clipping through a pipe or going through a service door in level 2. Exits Taking an elevator, which sometimes appears, will lead to level 4.